Today we will be doing positive and negative space doodle art. This is Mr. Doodle. He is an artist known for doodling. He likes to doodle on large paintings, sometimes in color even, and even decided to doodle his room. But he didn't stop there. He also decided to doodle the other parts of his home, including all of the stairways and walls and railings. The outside is doodled as well. Mr. Doodle also got married to Mrs. Doodle and is expecting a baby doodle too. People cannot get enough of Mr. Doodle's artwork. He shows all over the world, especially in Asia, and gets thousands and thousands of dollars for his doodle art. Today we are going to be inspired by Mr. Doodle and his doodling by creating our own doodle artwork using positive and negative space. For this project, I will be using a colored sheet of paper and a white sheet of paper and then also some scraps of the same color. I'm going to think of a theme for my project. I decided to go with the theme of things that fly. So I'm going to pick one thing in my theme and draw it on my scraps of colored paper. In my case, I decided to go with a hot air balloon. This is going to be kind of the center focal point of my picture. I'm going to draw it on one of my scrap papers and then I'm going to line up my white paper with it and I'm going to cut both of them out at the same time. So I have the exact same shape in a colored piece of paper and in a white piece of paper. I'm going to take those two pieces and use those on my artwork. Here I am cutting out the hot air balloon top. I'm just doing the outline, nothing too detailed. And then I will also cut out the basket of the balloon that can be kind of floating below the actual balloon top. Notice I'm lining up my paper, my colored and my white, so that whatever I cut will be the same size. Now I'm going to put the colored balloon on the white paper and the white balloon on the colored paper. The colored balloon is positive shape, the white balloon is the negative shape. Once I have these glued down, I'm going to start doodling. I'm using the same colored marker as paper. So because I have purple paper, I'm using a purple marker. And I'm going to go ahead and start doodling all kinds of things that fly. If you need to, you can look up pictures online so that you can kind of help get ideas of things that fit whatever theme you choose. Some other good themes might be types of food or maybe sports or places to go, or hobbies, or types of birds, or animals, things in the jungle. I mean, you really can pick any kind of theme or th thing that you enjoy. I'm going to just go ahead and start filling in around my balloon with things that fly. Notice I'm not really paying attention to the size proportions, like this butterfly is the same you know, size is like an airplane, and that's not a big deal. I'm just trying to doodle and keep my pen moving. So I'm thinking of things that are flying and I'm filling up this space. Now, there is some space between some of the pictures that I've drawn so far. So I will wanna go back in and fill in the empty space too. We really want this paper to be full of doodles. So you can kind of jump around and make some larger doodles first and then kind of fill in with smaller doodles or you can just start in one corner and really try to fill in as you go. It's kind of up to you. I decided to kind of start by making some of the larger things first, and then I'm gonna go back in and add some smaller things that are fly or that are in the sky, like stars or clouds. Those make great fillers. If you need to repeat some things, that's fine too. Just try to make each one a little bit different. For example, I'm making leaves right now, and I'm trying to make a couple different kinds of leaves or different shape leaves. 
decided to throw another hot air balloon in, but maybe this one is a little bit different. We'll throw a couple balloons in there too. It's okay if you have a couple things that are the same right next to each other, as long as that the overall picture has a lot of variety. I'm gonna continue drawing and thinking of things that fly. It's also nice to kind of add the little motion like I did for the paper airplane. That's a good filler as well. And I'm gonna continue drawing until I start filling up my paper. Here you can see I've added a lot more. I've also sped up my drawing so that you can kind of get the idea of some other things that I added. Notice that not all the things need to be real. I have a dragon that's flying too. So all kinds of things that work for my project. I'm also just using line art. I'm not adding color or coloring. And all just in with the purple. You can also see I've added lots of fillers now. There's some wind, a lot of the little dashed lines, a couple birds coming at different angles another balloon, just whatever I can to fill up the space with my doodles. Now, once I filled my negative space on the right, I'm going to fill my negative space on the left. So I'm going to go around and color in or draw in all of the things on my white balloon. Notice that they go all the way to the edge, if not completely off the edge, and that is fine too. I'm gonna continue doodling this until it is completely full of doodles. Then you can always attach your colored sheet and your white sheet to a background. In this case, I have it just kind of lined up on my black. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy doing some doodle art. Check out my channel, Elkie Art, for more fun art tutorials.